tell us a little bit about the reach calculator and what makes it so unique? Absolutely. It's, I mean, I think it's a couple things. Number one, it's, it's going across a lot of devices, right? So we've got television, we've got mobile, we've got online, tablet, and the connected TV over the top bucket, which I think is like missing from a lot of these sorts of tools. In addition to that, it's built on top of a couple of data sets. So we have a survey engine, basically, that's running, where we, under, we have over a thousand respondents, we know what devices they own, and more importantly, how often they use them. Um, and on top of this, we've overlaid a tool that allows you to understand you know, who in this data set are you more likely to hit than others based on where you're running advertisements. Um, in addition to that, we've used some of our more proprietary Nielsen tools, some of our TV data, um, and some previous research we've done with, with Yumi in order to understand um, you know, the boundaries, what's reasonable, what makes sense, to really calibrate the engine. So I think bringing all that together, that's really what we've, what we've done with this tool. Right. And have you ever attempted to create a calculator like this before? No, I mean certainly nothing to this level of, of you know coverage across across devices, things like that. There's certain television to online, we've done that, you know, many times in the past. But once you start talking mobile, tablet, over the top connected TV, no. That first level of lift you get, right, from just shifting from television into digital, I think we've seen that before. I think that story's kind of been told. But within the same budget on digital, diversifying across dev devices, getting you an incremental lift. That was really, that was, I felt that was notable. It's basically saying you can find new people with the same, you know, with digital video just by finding them on different devices. Because different people, you know, I might prefer my smartphone, you might prefer your tablet, um, you know, someone else might prefer their, their over the top as their, as their digital entertainment device. Not to go right too anecdotal here, but I, I mean, I think about myself, right? And I'm a three device person. So I have my, well, I mean, I guess I'm a four device person, but um, so I have my, my work laptop, right? I mean, I'm on that basically between, Ideal world to be between nine and five, but uh, you know, in the end of the deal, be here. <laughs> exactly. Um, I uh, and then I have a I have a mobile phone, right, for for myself for communication, and then I have a tablet. So when I'm home, right, I'm I'm usually not using my work laptop. I'm using my iPad. So from 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 that sort of standpoint, right, each device has its own purpose, and that that mix of three really does come together. I, th I think it makes a lot of sense.